Andy Anderson, who's partying on the patio yeah, tonight. Let's get a check of that forecast. Andy is standing by with some newfound friends in Colleen. Hi, Andy. Hey, Chris. Hi, Leslie. You know, W.C. Fields said, never work with kids or, or animals. And here I am. I'm having to try to follow that story. Man, that was great. We're at Rudy's Barbecue in Colleen for our party on the patio. I'll introduce you to our latest winner here in just a minute. First, I want to bring you up to date on our weather. It is hot. It's going to stay hot until probably the early part of next week. Then we see the possibility of maybe some rain. Right now, it's 105 degrees. Winds, golly Moses. Winds are out of the south around 10 miles out. It is just so hot. It feels like 107 degrees. We've got a ridge of high pressure out in the Gulf of Mexico. That's keeping any moisture coming our way, not allowing us to have any cloud cover. Low pressure, just a thermal low is, is wheeling around out there in West Texas right now. That's just keeping us extremely hot and extremely dry and keeping the winds coming in out of the south and southwest. And that just heats us up even more. So our outlook for tonight, and really for the next couple of days, it's not going to change much. Clear skies, warm conditions, little bit muggy. 76 degrees is our overnight low we're forecasting. And winds will be out of the south tonight, around 5 to 10 miles an hour. All right, Friday, kick off the weekend on a rather toasty note. We'll be looking at a high temperature of 108 degrees. Heat index close to 110. Uh, the heat warning, the excessive heat warning will continue for us. Uh, and likely uh, into the weekend as well. Latest drought monitor. While we're talking about lack of rain and the heat, we're still looking at severe drought conditions across much of McLennan County into Falls County, Limestone, and extreme northern portions of Bell County and the adjacent areas of Coriel County right now. We desperately need rain in that target area. We're almost 10 and a half inches of rain behind normal. There could be some showers for us early next week, and we'll talk about that in a second, but we've added one more county to the burn bans that are in effect across Central Texas, and that is Robertson County. We start talking about burn bans down in the Brazos Valley, and you know it's extremely dry for us. West of I-35, you saw video earlier in the newscast. This is the area where the fire danger is elevated. Not only is it dry, uh, but the vegetation out there is is not growing, so you've just got tons of fuel available for uh, well, fires to get out of control quite rapidly. Here's your Channel 6 seven-day forecast where your weekend is always in view. And <clears throat> I'm not kidding, 108 degrees, the forecast high for tomorrow, 109 on Saturday, 108 on Sunday, 110 degrees on Monday, a little bit warmer on Monday because we see a little system trying to make its way in here. You notice on Tuesday and Wednesday, our winds go around to the north and northeast, so perhaps not quite as warm on those days. Uh, temperatures a little milder, a little more cloud cover, and the bonus that we might see a spot of rain in there, about 20% chances of showers. Tomorrow night, it's the hot summer sound at Miller Park in Temple, and on Saturday night, we want to meet us in Salado. Uh, at Table Rock because it's time for the Legends of Salado play. It'll run for the next three weekends. All right, winner, party on the patio. Jill Tomaka, am I saying that correctly? Correct. Good to have you here. You're from uh, Colleen? Colleen. And who, who all we got here? You look like you got a lot of good friends. Friends and family. Anybody we want to point out? How about him? My husband, Paul. Paul, how about it? Well, you know, we're here for Rudy's Barbecue, and I always like to know when when we have a winner in here, what, what are your favorites on the menu? Oh. Uh, we like the ribs. Yeah. Um, brisket. Do you ever Brisket's come in? Very good. You know, brisket's out of this world. You try the uh, smoked turkey as well. Of course, the sausage is good. How about uh, breakfast? Do you ever stop in here for breakfast, breakfast in the morning? Tacos, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, breakfast tacos are out of this world. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to eat here real quick. I've got my man sized bib on already. And we'll have more during the 6 o'clock news. Back to you, Chris and Leslie in the studio. Now okay, I, next time we speak to you, the whole gang will have been fed. So we're anxious to hear how it goes, Andy. I had the brisket taco mm -hmm. on the July 4th parade. Yep. It's great, so I can vouch for that. It's a winner for sure. Ruby